Hi, this is Tori, Tori Magoo44. Thanks for coming by. It's October 1st. It is the very beginning of my favorite month, October. This is my, somebody I got in honor of my mom, who used to be a witch every single year. And look at how cool she is. She's got super long legs and super cool feet, too. I don't know if you can see her feet, but they're, they're way cool. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to set her down. But uh, this is a good month for all of us. And with that, I want to make sure that everybody does have a good month. And on the news recently, we've heard of like five kids taking their own lives. It's a very personal thing for me because I know seven kids from the Church of Scientology who each took their lives. One of them, a very dear friend of mine who shot himself to death. Another one who jumped out of a window of MIT on L. Ron Hubbard's birthday. On and on, right? And now these other kids have taken their own lives. And I, and I can't say it enough. It's a, it's a, it isn't a solution to a problem. You know, I think exclusion is one of the evilest things in the world for most of us. You know, it's like, oh, no, you can't sit here. Oh, no, you're not invited or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? It's like people get into and then doing weirder things like the guy videotaping that other guy. You know, it's like we've, we've all got to respect each other's privacy and just care for each other more. Um, so there's two messages. One is to the families. I am so sorry that you've lost the children that you've lost. Um, all I can say is please celebrate their lives and speak out to those around you about it and how it feels because I think sharing that helps educate people to young people and to people of all different ages on the internet. You know, we're so an anonymous on the internet, most people, because they don't know who you really are. So you can kind of say all kinds of things that you wouldn't say in person. Which is the thing my friend Andreas from Norway taught me. He has a website, xenu.net, xenu.net. And on it he says, please talk to each other as if you were in my dining room, right? You know, so it's kind of like, be nice to each other. You know, say things that you would say if you were in my living room or my dining room together in person, right? And I think that's very important because if you really think about would you do this to the person's face, most people wouldn't say or do the nasty things they do. And if you are doing them, remember, you know, think about the consequence before you do it, before you send an email, before you send a post, or if it's something really nasty, think about it. Do you really have to say it that way? Is there another way you could say it where you're still getting your point across, but it's not quite as offensive to the other side, right? The other thing for the for anyone who's thinking of taking their own lives, and that's a huge range because now, you know, people who are losing their own homes are doing that. You know, it's like that's you, we've all got to toughen up. That's the, well, that's all I can say. It's like, it, it isn't like take it, but if you get stronger, you get higher. Do you know what I mean? Like move up. Don't, you, you know, don't let people abuse you. You can move above them. You can move on. Especially for teenagers, it's a very difficult time for just about all of us. I don't know a lot. I mean, there's maybe a few people who really had a great time as a teenager. I mean, everybody says they do, but it's a very, very difficult time. You know, a lot of it has to do with exclusion, where you're not invited or you're not included or you didn't make it to the you know varsity team or you're gay or you're, you're straight but you're a knucklehead or whatever. You know, just all the different things that people can target you, label you, whatever. And the basic thing, you've got to find your own self. And that takes a long time. So just realize you basically just got to move through it and get on the other side. It's almost like climbing over a mountain. And for parents helping your kids get over that mountain, right? Because it, it's a lot of stuff goes on. But please, please take care of each other. Please be kind to each other and make sure you value your life because you have no idea how far the ripples go of pain. When someone takes their life, it isn't just their life. It's many, 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 many people are affected for a long, long time. It's a not a good thing. So take care of yourself, get strong, and find people that love you. Make sure that you, you have a few friends that you can stand you know, that'll stand by you, you know what I mean? And you stand by them. That's all you need is just a few people. 
Okay, and if you know, if you don't, you, know, you ask out. If you're willing to ask out, reach out, stay in touch with your friends, and let them know what's in your heart. You know what I mean? Let them know so that they can help you. All right. I hope that helps. And have people around that make you happy. She makes me happy. You know what I mean? Mr. Anonymous, if you haven't met him, he hasn't been here in a while. Here he is, Mr. Anonymous. He's like super cool. When I lost all my friends, Andreas sent me Mr. Anonymous. And he's a very dear, he's Norwegian. See, you can see he has a Norwegian flag on. He's, he's cool. He's very, very cool. But I always, all my life, I've had a bunch of little friends around. It's just the way I am. And uh, they keep me comfortable when I'm alone, okay, and or feeling like I, whatever, they make me smile, this lady makes me smile, I walk in the room, I see her, I smile, okay, so have things around you that make you smile, and have a wonderful week, and, and I love you, peace out, and happy October, make